boots I'm getting ready to DIY. They were just some old tall boots that I used to love to wear. Um, but yeah, they just have little buckles on each side. They got the zippers and the the zipper in the middle. So I wanted to DIY these, but I didn't know how I was going to do it around the zipper. But I knew for a fact I did not want to throw them away. So let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those straps off and start my DIY. Stay tuned. So I'm sitting here. I've been wanting to do this video for, well, probably about a year. A year now I've been wanting to do this video. I was inspired to do this video by watching Jay Baby. Well, three years ago, I was walking around the mall with my daughter and I saw these boots in the buckle. And I mean, I fell in love with them. It was like love at first sight. I, I told my husband, I said, I got to have those boots. I got to have those boots. And he got them for me. I want to say it might have been like, it was a special occasion, I know. But he got these boots for me. And here they are from the buckle. Oops, let me see. Bling, Dory. I keep everything, y'all. Yeah, so they were $74.95. So we spent about 80 bucks for these boots. And I keep the box. I always keep my box. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the boxes that my um, stuff comes in. <laughs> but they didn't have a lid. These are the boots, you guys. They are furry boots. And then on this side, they have... A nice little blinged out zipper and then they have the Western heel see that's what I was in love with I was in love with that Western heel because me being like 411 five feet I ain't gonna tell you which one <laughs> you just did but anyways by me being so um, short I just I always I'm like Prince baby I always want to be lifted up you know in the air and not only that it makes my butt look really good has a little blinged out the little bling, bling, bling on the side, you guys. I hope you guys can see that detailing because it is everything. It has the little zipper, and there we go. Now, when I wear these boots, y'all, I'll be thinking I am ass kicking, okay? But you know what? I get so many compliments in these boots. The grocery store, you know, wherever I go, somebody is complimenting these boots. Oh, my God, I love them, I love them, I love them. And so, you know, just with all that being said, I wanted to make my own. I got on YouTube and Googled furry boots. And she created these boots. She created quite a few boots. But the ones that were my favorite were the cotton candy ones. They're like pink and they have like blue in them. I mean, you guys, these boots make you want to melt. I swear to you, they are beautiful boots look on her channel you'll see them but I want that fur because you know I have been putting off putting off putting off putting off making those boots that J baby had because you had to use needle and thread needle and thread is so time consuming you know it's a lot easier to pull out a glue gun and do it with glue but to have to stitch and stitch and stitch and I know it lasts long and it's beautiful but I'm I'm just lazy that's all because I know how to sew I just don't want to take the time <laughs> out of my day to do that. But you know what? Now, since we got all the time on our hand, I really do wish that I had bought the fabric a while ago because I could have created those boots. But there, it's never too late. I will create those boots. But J Baby just created some boots not too long ago, and she used boa. She used the... <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was talking about. She created some furry boots out of using this boa. There it is. So I ended up finding this, I want to say at Hobby Lobby. They didn't have much. I did not want to spend 20 minutes going all the way to Joann's. I went to Michael's, they didn't carry it. I went to Walmart, they didn't have it. So I went next door over to, so it was Hobby Lobby. 
It might have been cheaper if I would have went to Joann's. I'm not sure. But I ended up buying, I bought six of the boas. And from my understanding, I think you use three per boot. So let's get started here, you guys. So this is the boot here, you guys, that I have created. Here it is. And it's beautiful, you guys. It is lovely. It is so beautiful. It turned out exactly the way I thought it would, you know. But there's a little twist on it because every time I would zip it, the fur here, the fur would get caught in my zipper. So I went out and bought some ribbon. So I could have easily, very well, threw these boots in the garbage. But ribbon worked just well to protect that zipper. And I could have, like I said, easily just threw these boots in the garbage and said, they're raggly, I don't want them anymore, toss them. But you know what? You can always create something out of something. So never throw away your old leather boots, you guys. So right now, I'm not gonna prolong you guys in this video. So this video may be a little long, and if it is, I apologize. I'm gonna start probably like a little bit away from the zipper. So I'm gonna start probably right there. You want to leave some room. You don't want to get too close to that zipper. And then I'm going to take it around. I'm going to take it all the way around, you guys. Just all the way around the bottom of the of the boot. Then I'm going to stop right there. And then, and then I'm going to go straight up the boot. I'm just going to go straight, straight up the zipper, you guys. So I take it all the way around the boot, you guys. I start, like I leave room right there. I'm gonna take it all the way around the boot. All the way around, I don't mean to show y'all the bottom because it's raggedy. And then once I get over here, I'm gonna stop right there. And then I'm gonna go up the boot. I'm just gonna start going up the zipper. Cause what I wanna do is, I wanna try my best to get that zipper work out of the way. And I don't wanna get too close to that zipper because remember, we're gonna put that ribbon down. So we don't wanna, we wanna try to stay far away from the zipper so that we can lay our ribbon because our ribbon is going to be laid after we're done with our boot and when we lay our ribbon we're going to try our best to lay our ribbon against the first the boa so it doesn't get caught in our zipper at all whatsoever so here I go and you guys I am not going to cut this at all laid a sheet down on my floor you guys because this boa fur stuff can get everywhere so I'm just going to pick this sheet up when I'm done take it outside and shake it and then that's that
you guys, that you want to make sure to feel around your boa to see if you need to glue down any. Because sometimes the little, that little string that the boa, that holds the boa together, that sometimes will dangle around. It will, it will wiggle around. So the boa will stick because that's the fur. The fur it will be easy to stick down, very easy. But the string that's holding it together is what you really want to stick. get too close to that zipper all right you guys so I got my I went around I went you see I um, started there and went around went around all the way around so here I am back at the zipper again and I left that much space Can you see that? I left that much space away from the zipper, you guys. And now what I'm getting ready to do is just start taking it up. are so cute though I was so happy when I saw Miss J baby on that camera creating these boots y'all that was everything for me yes it was and I've seen a few people doing these boots and I don't know if they you know well I've seen a few I didn't watch their videos because I've already seen J babies and theirs pretty much looked at just like hers. It wasn't like a different spin. It was just the same boot. And honey, my baby Jay taught me how to do them, so I don't need to rewatch their video. But I mean, kudos to them for recreating the boot as well. But it wasn't anything different. And I just hope to God that they give her her props when they're doing this, because I'm I, I know for a fact my idea came from her. So I mean. If I hadn't seen her video, I wouldn't have known how to really create that boot. I mean, I would have had to come up with my own creation, which probably wouldn't have been as near as, you know, helpful as hers, but not at all as helpful as hers. She was very, very helpful in her, her explaining and her detailing and technique and stuff. So, ooh, baby. Every once in a while, you'll burn yourself. It's okay. Um, I am glad that I'm starting to feel a little more confident in filming my YouTube videos because I ain't going to lie. Confidence isn't something I had at the beginning at all. It took a while. It took a while of me just sitting back so searching myself. Of just kind of, you know, not really knowing where I wanted my channel to go. And But now I'm to the point where it's like, you know what? I want to... I want to show more of me you know, instead of trying to make it so much about autism. My channel is auti living with autism because, you know, the joy of my life is my little boy and he has autism. And this channel to be about his growth. Not only his growth, I want it to be about my own growth and my own struggles. So it's living with autism because that's going to be, that's what I do. I live with, I live with my baby with autism. and. That's not going to change anything. But at the end of the day, I'm a mom. I'm a wife. So 
and I just I I want to broadcast me too. <laughs> here we have some elastic so I had to like make sure because I'm gonna take this when I get up here I'm gonna take it around the top so you want to make sure you leave room if you have like elastic for your leg stretch you want to try to leave room when you bring this boa around you want to try to leave just a little get like a little you don't want to glue it straight across. You want to leave like a little gap up in there. Like put your finger there or something. Make a gap. That way it gives room for that boa to open up. something that I saw J Miss J baby the queen of fur honey that's what you call J baby cuz she show no she love her fur I'm gonna call her the queen of the fur honey so now I'm leaving that gap up here you guys I just put my finger down for it to make a gap in the fur up here on the top where it has that elastic if you don't have elastic then you don't have to worry about it. it's what I want it that gap is my finger oh can you see it yeah my finger goes right through that gap I know that didn't look good but... <laughs> TV. Lady Malachi. I can't get no videos done, y'all. I have to turn the cartoons on for him. Yeah, I got way too close to that zipper over here. Dang on it. It's on my zipper, y'all. Yeah. Just have to peel that off. Yeah, if you feel like you got close to your zipper, just try to peel it off the zipper area. Like right there. Oh my goodness. It happens, y'all. You just want to make sure before you unzip it, you get all the glue off and around it. So what I did was I just stopped right there right there by the boot and I'm starting to bring it down y'all I'm just gonna bring it down and then when I get down here I'm gonna get right back over there right back over there no wait what side am I on yeah 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 so I'm gonna go back around once I get down
you guys, like J-Baby was mentioning in her video, you don't want to put these so close together. Okay, man, okay. You don't want to put these too close together. You want to make space. So make sure you guys space them out. stems of boa sticking straight up so I just cut that off all right you guys I'm reaching for my second boa <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
just saw some two cost together. stuff what I've done I'm so sorry you guys I ended up tearing up some of that fur I think in a lot of ways I didn't leave a lot of space to work with and with that being said I my video is trial and error I mean I did do the first one off camera so it was a little less pressure and then I come on camera to do this one months later and I just flopped it I think <laughs> I think I flopped my video because it looks like to me I ran out of boa so I'm just gonna keep going you guys cuz you know hey it just lets you guys know that this is not that easy I mean you do want to space them out but at the same you want to space the boa out but at the same time you don't want your boot looking you know shabby and bald and stuff so I think if I had this to do all over again instead of three boas per boot I probably would have did three and a half boas per boot I, I noticed on the first boot I did I ended up having to make room as well um, I didn't have to tear the whole you know, I didn't have to tear pieces of the boot up or anything like I did this one, but yeah, I had to tear this boot. I had to tear um, some of the boa back up, and I'm just a little, little concerned about that, that it's going to look bad, but we'll see. <laughs> everyone this boot is done this has been one kind of struggle video for me so what I ended up doing since the I'm going to unzip it for you I was very 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 scared of unzipping the boot before because of the fur so the boa so here I am zipping in the boot back up and it zips back up now I'm going to go ahead and try this boot on for you all. I'll be back in a second. 